Welcome back to the show. I'm Shaq. Matchmaker rejects 38 year old woman who had 10 years of therapy and she goes off about it. Roll the clip. Oh, oh, you know what that was? Oh, that doo doo, man. Was rejected by a matchmaker this week. You wouldn't be able to work with me. When we met, I told her what I was looking for and told her a lot about me. And I tried to highlight some of my core qualities, including the fact that I'm very, very type A organized. I like to be the leader. I told her the types of things that I like doing. I also told her I was looking for a man who was also a leader because I don't want to always be the leader, believe it or not. I told her I was looking for someone that was at or above the same income level as me, driven. You said you, you're looking for a leader while you also want to be a leader? Look, here's the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm um, going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. I think that's actually retarded a little bit what you just said. You want a guy to turn his leader skills on and off, on and off, on and off. Because you don't want to be a leader sometimes. How about you make up your mind How about that? Put your big girl pants on because you sound foolish. You sound foolish and your lips are too thin. Let's keep it going. Who is ambitious, who is ready for a long-term relationship and ready to get married. She may have actually picked up on the fact that I'm a little high strung. I'm not like a stressed out or anxious person. I'm just high energy or type A. This is who I am. And she was asking me, do I meditate? No. Do I journal? No. Do anything? Woo. And I said, no. I said, in fact, I'm not even on the same planet as woo. When talking about what I didn't like, in a man, I said I could never really be with a beta type man. I specifically use the word doormat. I said I would chew them up and spit them out. And her response was, well, I married that type of man. She was saying that, you know, men really like a soft woman and I should try some of these vision board journaling, meditating type of things. Would never be that type of person. She also said that she could sense I had some walls up, which of course I'm coming to meet a woman who I'm asking to find my future husband at the rate of several thousand dollars, I, of course, am gonna be here really just trying to interview you, my dear friend, because I wanna know if I'm gonna get my money's worth with you. So of course I'm gonna have some walls up. I also think- Ah, those aren't walls up you have. It's a blockage. Am I really that fat? There's something blocking your brain to being smart that's what it is. God damn right. This is Randall. You're putting too much makeup on right now. I'm letting you know right now. You, like the amount of makeup you're putting on is kind of pissing me off. You're hyperactive and you want to be a leader sometimes. It sounds like you just can't sit down. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like you did not have a grandmother, grandfather, or mother or father who told you to sit your ass down. It's perfectly normal to have some walls up when you are meeting someone for the very first time and who also had not taken the time to do her own research on me by stalking me on the internet. She definitely didn't have time because she asked for my socials more than one hour before our meeting. So I asked her- Why would a adult person stalk your socials? Are you a pedophile? Why would a adult person that you are supposed to be truthful to and you paid stalk your socials? You see how, how you never cease to amaze me by your retardation or what I like to call slow mind thinking? It's like annoying now. When you're saying you're a leader, you're not a leader. You just won't stop talking and trying to make decisions. That's not a leader. Not leading by anywhere. You're just saying what you want. You're a grown child. Her, if she thought I would be ready for her services, her response, she essentially said that I am not ready for her type of services because I have too much work to do. My walls are too high and I'm not ready for a long-term committed relationship at the ripe age of 38 where I have been in therapy for 10 plus years. She also said that I, she's too woo for me, which I can accept that, that's fine. However, I shouldn't need to be a woo type person to be worthy of love. She also said that I need to soften a little bit. 
and men like a softer woman. Essentially, I spent $350 to meet with this woman, have her tell me I am not worthy of love as I am, but the fact that I need to change in order to be worthy of love and partnership, which honestly, I think for that reason alone, she should have her matchmaking license taken away because we shouldn't be pushing on these narratives that people are not worthy as they are. And essentially telling women that they, the type of woman they are isn't worthy of love. That is a narrative that should not be given to anyone or it is dangerous commentary. And the fact that she said this to my face had some audacity. Well, we're celebrating my 38th birthday tonight and we are gonna wash all of what she said aside. I am so excited. And we're gonna believe that no matter the type of woman you are, love is out there for you. We are not gonna listen to this toxic narrative. Big screen. So you go get professional help just so you can cancel a person as well. Do it. That made perfect sense to you. There was nothing wrong with what she said. She literally gave you game, what the, the kids like to call it these days. She really just helped you out. Hey, yo, you should be more softer. Cause you know, guys don't like you. Uh-huh, I heard that. I wish I didn't hear that, but I just heard that. Your age and your status proves it. You think anybody would actually listen to a person who would say what you just said, all that. You're not living on this world as everybody else. And then you put those, you put the red lipstick on your thin lips. Like you look like the Joker. Never rub another man's rhubarb. <laughs> I would never advise anybody to go get surgery, like to get their lips bigger. I would advise you. I'll make it 20 years younger. I want guys to know this is the type of lady that if you get with her, she's gonna divorce you. Like guaranteed, you're getting a divorce. 50% people get divorced and you think this that's a hundred percent divorce like 120 percent because you know you can sell your body to make ends meet for that lady she's still gonna divorce you and she's gonna smile about it and she's gonna wait for you to have kids before she divorce you she came with nothing she gotta leave with something but if you made it to the end of the show hey yo man make sure you hit the like button and um share it i don't care about subscribes or the sharing the likes that be putting me in the algorithm Put me all in algorithm. I say, make sure you come back for my next episode. Cause you know, I'm going to bring you content. I always do. I know you're wondering why I'm on this side right now. You shouldn't worry about that. What you should be worrying about is if you hit that subscribe button or if you hit one of these videos, you can always yell my only fans, but this is free. I'll give you some time. Was that enough?